brakes on, it's raining. Gently ease forward. Whoop. Wipers on, it's raining. Oh, I clicked that right to exactly where I wanted it. Awesome. We'll probably have to, we might even have to step that up to uh, full bore. <laughs> hazard lights, dude. Hazard lights. Warn people before you hit the reverse. Yeah. So part of what I like about this club. Turn left on ramp to I-20 West. Yes, I know. Part of what I like about this loves is the exit's very easy. Because it's a right turn to get in and it's a right turn to get out. How? By being on opposite sides of the store.
there's a highway that connects 99 and 15. And we'll be using that so we don't actually have to go into the LA area in order to get up to Stockton. So we're going very close to Vegas, which is like, ah, I'm so close. I like Vegas. <laughs> that is one of the things that has come out of this job that I just never expected. I did not expect to like Vegas because I'm not the kind of person that Vegas wants. <laughs> I don't gamble, I don't drink, I don't go to strip clubs, I don't do any of the fun stuff that Vegas gets money from, but I like Vegas. <laughs> I, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. Oh, is this a dirt lot? Oh. Approaching Pilot Travel Center, 9,800 Interstate 20. Point three miles ahead, turn left on ramp to I-20 West. Traffic, 34 minutes of delay added to your estimated no. time of arrival. Maybe, I don't know, I can't tell. 30 minutes? What have I done?
ahead. Turn right. Prescriptions have been filled. Alrighty, let's get out of here. I had a minor moment of panic because this looked like, from the satellite view, this looked like, oh yeah, super friendly, super truck friendly Walmart. And it is, but when you come off the ramp, um, <laughs> there's a, a thing of cross bucks. Not cross bucks. Uh, a cross beam thing over the... Uh, over the main entrance so you can't enter there. But luckily there are lots and lots of handy signs to direct semi-truckers back here. I can get on to uh, 287 to the right, can't I? I think. Yeah, this is the 287 front of the road. Why wouldn't I be able to? So let's do it. Yay! Straight on ramp and then merge left on US 287 North. I think that's a good sign. I had run uh, outrun the rain, but I guess not entirely. Uh, so yeah, thing with the um, thing with the Walmart. So I tried to get my prescriptions refilled in Laplace. Uh, if you check back the video where we we spent the night at the pilot in Laplace and then went up to Baton Rouge to pick up the next morning. 46.3 miles ahead. Stay on US 287 North as FM route 1033 splits off. We, uh, since we had the pickup at 0500, I went ahead and took the, uh, the empty trailer over to a washout in Laplace to get the trailer cleaned up. Then we, uh, then I stopped at Walmart on my way back to the pilot for prescription refills. It was an insanely busy Walmart, like high, high Christmas shopping season. And one of those Walmarts that has the planters everywhere. To make it as hard as humanly possible for a tractor trailer to get in the parking lot. However, once again, the management of the Walmart as it sits currently, more truck friendly than the architects. So, we didn't get towed, but I did still have to worm my way in between planters and stuff. And it looked like most other truckers just ran over the planters. So, you know, we accomplished it without running over any curbs, but it was still an ordeal to get the truck turned around to get back out again. All right, let's pass this oversize. I don't know what he's hauling, but it's got a door. Good gap to pass him in, lots of room, no obstructions on the sides of the roads. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We've got these turning lanes, so I've got extra room over here. Alright, trailer's clear of the cargo. And trailer's clear of the truck. Alright, moving over.
have almost lost our sunlight for the day. It's almost over. And we still got a we still got a good few minutes of it, but you know, it's not gonna be a, not gonna be a daylight parking job at uh Tukumkari when we get there. Speaking of getting to Tukumkari, we're 73 miles away. Two and a half hours on our clock. Well, two hours, 23 minutes. So we should have about an hour and 10 minutes left. That's actually surprisingly good progress considering the amount of traffic we hit in Dallas and then uh, a very, very brief bit of traffic in Amarillo. So we're, we made good progress today. We're not gonna run a full 11 hour day. That's just never a good idea. 11 hour days are how, how you run out your clock super fast. That reminds me, I really need to check and make sure our 70 is going to cooperate with this. We might wind up having to do like a 1 a.m. wake up on the day we deliver. Welcome to New Mexico! Woo! I like their, their greeting sign here. Which means we just entered... What? Oh, we just entered the mountain time zone, which means it is now 5.15 instead of 6.15. My phone's been bouncing back and forth between the two for a little bit of time now, because I guess we're right on the periphery of, of a, a two towers situation. But yeah, it is now 5.15 p.m. instead of 6.15 p.m., so we're less than an hour from Tukumkari. Might even get there before six if we get through the uh, if we get through the way station nice and quick. Oh, somebody's getting inspected. You know, I just I did just buy a bunch of groceries at that Walmart. So let's uh, let's use them. I wasn't able to quite squeeze all of the. Uh, I, I bought a whole bunch of boneless boneless chicken, like uh, popcorn chicken, basically. Popcorn chicken makes the best buffalo boneless wings if you want to just buffalo them yourself but not rely on pre-buffaloed buffalo wings. Pre-buffaloed -pre buffalo wings are kind of messy when you're just cooking them on your own in a truck. But the ability to buffalo them myself, this will be the first time I've tried this. I've got popcorn chicken, I've got a couple of different buffalo sauces, and I just want to figure out one of these that's really good so I can just have them whenever I have the cravings because it's getting out of hand. I had buffalo wings literally last night, and I've got the craving again tonight. I'm told it might just be a, a thing that happens to trans people on hormone replacement therapy, the, the hot sauce addictions and the salty stuff addictions. Apparently most other trans people have some pickle, some pickle cravings, which I'm thankfully not, I'm not a pickle person. I'll eat them on a burger, but I don't, I don't crave the pickle like so many, so many others like me do, but I do get lots of salt cravings, uh, potato chips, that sort of thing. Potato chips, uh, popcorn, the popcorn I like has some, some kind of salty butter that uh, really just, my brain's just like, I need three bags of this now, thank you. <laughs>
this is the back row. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. This is now the back row. Alright. Because that's the entrance to the speed coat loop. So this is the back. Awesome. I'm going the wrong direction in order to back into any of these spots. Unless one of these just happens to be open. That one probably would have worked. Oh, no, I can just grab, grab a spot back here. Cool, we're good, we're good. Super easy parking. Let's park next to Giltner. Or do we just want the pull through? I'll take the pull through. Yeah, this is a pretty good pull through. Let's do it. I don't see the line for the end of the parking spot. Behind me. This trailer has a nice bright license plate light on it in uh, on prime trailers when when the license plate light is bright enough it uh, puts a line on the ground it's perfectly lined up with your rear bumper <laughs> so it makes it super easy to park in the exact spot you want by just putting that line on the ground wherever you want it so yep okay we're parked I'll see you guys tomorrow. My name is Elio Nair, as a Ranger17 on Twitch, Xbox Live, and Steam. Drop and say hi. Let me know if you enjoy the videos by clicking like, subscribe, commenting, or coming to say hi on Twitter, because Twitter's the best place to get a hold of me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.